Help support Name Explain by liking this video, leaving a comment and subscribing to the channel. Every time of the year relates to a certain zodiac sign, with these being the constellations of the stars that were above you when you were born. There are 12 of these zodiac signs, with the word zodiac coming from the Greek zodiacus kuklos, which means circle of animals, as each zodiac sign has an animal that relates to it, well minus the humans and the bloody scales. If you follow the belief system that comes with zodiac signs, then whatever sign you were born under is meant to represent your personal personality, trait, and compatibility with other people with other zodiac signs. In the past, the stars were followed devoutly, while in these modern times, astrology and the star signs are more of a niche subject. Whether you believe them still or think they're nonsense, they're harmless enough. What is however far from harmless is cancer, the name for a collection of diseases when cells of the human body become abnormal, with old and damaged cells surviving when they shouldn't and eventually spreading through the body. I'm sure you don't need to be told just how awful cancer is. Over 150,000 people die each year from cancer just here in the UK alone. I'm sure you know someone who has dealt with cancer in your life, or maybe you have yourself. There are many great charities that are helping bring cancer to an end all over the world, so if there's anything you should take away from this video, please consider donating to one of these great causes. I know I will be donating to cancer research here in the UK. Anyway, why on earth am I talking about star signs and diseases? While these two things might seem completely unrelated, there is of course something that ties them together, that being the name for the star sign for those born between June 21st and July 23rd, which is of course called cancer. So how on earth did cancer end up becoming the name for the star sign we are currently under and an awful, awful disease? And yes, like I said we're currently in the zodiac time period of cancer and yes I've had the idea to do this video at this time pretty much since name explains inception I've only just remembered to actually do it now to understand this we need to look into the signs that represent the zodiac signs as I said each sign is represented with either an animal a human who are animals too I guess or a bloody weighing scale these signs come from star constellations and as we know people in the past looked to the stars connected the constellations together and interpreted them as things we have on earth the stars that make up the constellation of Cancer was seen to look like a crab, which is a little bit abstract, but all these constellations are, hence why the symbol of the zodiac sign of Cancer is a crab. Despite being the zodiac sign for those born across June and July, Cancer can best be seen in the Northern Hemisphere in March at around 9pm, making it one very shiny crab. And this helps us understand as to why this constellation is called Cancer, because the Latin word for crab is Cancer, with this initial meaning for Cancer, as in Latin for crab, coming from the Proto-Indo-European root word car, meaning hard, as crabs are known for their hard exoskeletons. Now we know how the star sign got its name, and that it's simply because the Latin word for crab is Cancer, then why is the disease called Cancer? Why on earth is this disease Cancer named after crabs? Well, initially the disease wasn't actually called Cancer, but rather Carcanon which still means crab, but was the Greek word for the crustacean, not the Latin. So even the Greeks were naming this disease after crabs. This comes from the ancient Greek physicians of Hippocrates and Galen. They studied the tumours that their patients were getting and they felt that the tumours and the veins around them looked like crabs. To them at least anyway. I'm far too squeamish to check myself. It's also thought that they drew two from the Proto-Indo-European word for hard, as these cancerous tumours were hard. Because of their resemblance to crabs, they gave this tumour-induced disease the name of Kalkanos, meaning crabs in Greek, and then with the rise of Latin, this turned into the Latin word for crabs, cancer, which we still use today, as many diseases and illnesses still carry their Latin names, like lupus, which comes from the Latin word for wolf, as lupus devours its affected area like a wolf. While the star sign and disease may share a name, there isn't actually a direct etymological connection between them. If we were to look at word origins like a family tree, they aren't descendants one after the other, but more rather like siblings with their parent word being crab. This wasn't a case of crab giving their name to the star sign and then the star sign giving its name to the disease as we've seen in the past. It was more the crab got its name, which then lent itself to the star sign and the disease as both of these things were seen to look similar to crabs when their names were first being chosen. However, these aren't the only instances of the word cancer being used in language. There's the Tropic of Cancer too, a line of latitude on our planet north of the equator, named due to when it was being named in the last century BC, the sun was in line with the constellation of Cancer. And while the disease of Cancer is named after crabs, there's actually another thing that can affect the human body which has become known as crabs. But we probably don't want to anger the demonetization
Dungeon Gods by going into detail on that. What I am more interested in however is the more modern and recent usage of the word cancer, in which the word is used to describe really awful things. This usage of the word apparently seems to stem from internet culture and has become hotly debated. I know some people who don't like using the word cancer in this way as it can somewhat belittle the disease of cancer. You may refer to an awful film as cancer and while I'm sure it is truly awful, I can't imagine any film being as awful as having cancer. Words carry power with them, some more than others, and due to the destruction of families and lives cancer can bring to people, the word cancer has become one that carries a lot of power. Some even refuse to say it, using things like the C word or the big C instead. So it's understandable why people might be upset when they hear the word cancer is being used to describe something that is just a bit rubbish, especially if they've lost someone to cancer. I found a whole article about the language of cancer. It's really interesting but a bit off track for this video, so go check it out. It'll be linked down below. However, I don't think we should stop using cancer in this sense altogether. Words are continuously changing meaning and being used in new ways. To stop the natural evolution of a word just seems like trying to go up a down escalator. Let's try and reserve using the word cancer to describe awful things for only the most truly awful and despicable things on our planet, much like the disease itself. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Name Explain depends on small monthly donations from fans like you to help keep the channel running. Just a small amount of $2 a month helps in a huge way, grants you patron exclusive Name Explain extras, and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you.